Responsible hunting is about the effective, efficient, safe and sustainable harvesting of a wild resource. The number of recreational hunters is increasing. It is every hunter's obligation to act responsibly and lawfully to protect the future of hunting, the environment, the birds and the interests of other land users. To be a better hunter, you have to work within the limits of your skill, understanding and equipment. No hunter wants to wound or lose a bird. There are three areas of practice that will help you reduce the risk of wounding. Understand your limitations. To be a better hunter, you need to practice regularly. Learn your effective shooting skills distance and be able to estimate this distance. Understand your shotgun and ammunition. To effectively and humanely harvest ducks and to select the right combination of shot shell and choke size, you need to pattern test your shotgun. Good hunting techniques. There are several things you can do in the field to reduce wounding. Don't hunt over heavy cover where you can't retrieve a bird. Use a well-trained gun dog. Don't shoot at flocks or lead birds. Use swatter loads for downed birds. Never shoot beyond your effective shooting skills distance. The techniques you're about to see are also detailed in the Shotgunning Education Program Handbook. Practice these techniques and you will become a more effective and efficient hunter. You will help ensure duck hunting can be sustained into the future. Hunters who shoot within their effective shooting skill distance will greatly increase their success and reduce the risk of wounding. To improve and maintain your shooting skills, you need to practice regularly. Test your effective shooting skills distance. Learn to estimate this distance in the field. You should regularly visit a simulated field or shotgunning range where you can practice shooting accurately. You will need to learn the distances at which you can regularly hit targets moving in different directions. Proper practice involves using clay targets thrown at different distances, angles and flight speeds. This simulates the behaviour of ducks being hunted. There are several configurations of clay target shooting that are useful to practice. They include crossing, left to right and right to left crossing, where the target passes across in front of you. Overhead incoming, where the target passes high and towards you. Overhead outgoing, where the target passes overhead and away. It is essential that you know your effective shooting skills distance. This is the distance at which you can regularly hit a clay target with your first shot, six out of eight times. Shooting birds beyond this distance greatly increases the chance of wounding. The majority of hunters have a maximum effective shooting skills distance of no more than about 30 metres. Once you know your maximum effective shooting skills distance, you need to learn to estimate this distance under field conditions. There are a number of techniques for estimating distance. These include electronic rangefinders, distance markers, including natural features like stumps, and decoys set at known distances. The use of decoys is designed to bring birds closer to within your effective shooting skills distance. In the field, you can set decoys at known distances from your hide. Use these as a guide to know when to shoot and when not to shoot.
Every shotgun is different. To understand how your shotgun patterns, you do what's known as pattern testing. This allows you to calculate the density of pellets needed to humanely dispatch a duck at your effective shooting skills distance. Before you go hunting, you need to choose the right choke and shot shell combination. This depends on the pattern your shotgun creates, the duck species you are hunting, your effective shooting skills distance. The diameter of your gun's muzzle is called the choke. The tighter the choke, the narrower the spread of pellets. Before you go hunting, you need to understand how your shotgun patterns, so you can choose the right choke and shot shell combination. Before you head out hunting, decide what species you are going to hunt or which species you are likely to encounter. Smaller species require smaller shot sizes, but choke constriction also determines the distance at which you can lethally dispatch a bird. Smaller birds need a denser pattern because they have smaller vital organs. The technique you use to understand how your shotgun distributes shot is called pattern testing. Set up a backing board at your maximum effective shooting skills distance. This is the distance you determined earlier by firing at clay targets. Having decided what species you are going to hunt, check the lethality table and choose a shot shell with the appropriate pellet size. If your firearm permits, you can swap to an appropriate choke size. Fire at the pattern sheet and count the number of pellet strikes within the circle. Repeat this a minimum of three times, then calculate the average. The lethality table is your best reference for working out the minimum pellet count needed to humanely dispatch the ducks you are targeting at your known effective shooting skills distance. If it doesn't achieve the minimum pellet count documented in the lethality table, there are a number of things you can do. First, you can alter shot size. You can increase the payload or weight of shot contained in the shot shell. Try a different brand of ammunition. Try a shot shell with a lower load velocity to avoid blowing out the shot pattern. Try a different brand of choke or choke constriction. Decreasing your shooting distance will also help. There are a number of practices you can adopt while hunting in the field that will help you to be more successful and reduce the risk of wounding birds. Never shoot at flocks, lead birds and going away birds that are beyond 35 metres. Never hunt over heavy cover where you can't retrieve a downed bird. Retrieve downed birds quickly. Use a well-trained gun dog. Use swatter loads. Never shoot beyond your effective shooting skills distance. You should never shoot into a flock of ducks. Pattern testing has taught you that shotgun pellets spread out to create a lethal pattern. Only two pellets are needed to strike the vital organs. If you fire into a flock, you could wound other birds around the bird you are targeting. You should never shoot at lead birds, because by the time the pellets reach the bird, there is a risk of hitting trailing birds or other birds that have flown into that space. Instead, target birds on their own or to the outside of the flock. 
you should never take going away shots beyond 35 metres. A going away bird has its vital organs protected by the gizzard and backbone. This reduces pellet penetration and can result in lost birds or wounding. There is no point in shooting at a duck if it can't be retrieved. Hunting ducks over heavy cover, like reed beds, means you are unlikely to find any downed birds, even if you are using a well-trained gun dog. If a bird is downed, you must stop hunting immediately and take the necessary measures to retrieve it. Maintain a focus on where the bird was downed and walk a straight line to retrieve it. If you are working over water, you can use a boat or work with another hunter to assist in locating a downed bird. A well-trained gun dog can significantly increase the chance of recovering downed birds. A poorly trained gun dog can disrupt hunters, cause commotion and encourage hunters to take shots outside their effective shooting skills distance. Allow your gun dog to work and don't take another shot until your dog has made the retrieve. A swatter load is a shotgun shell with a large number of small pellets, like a size 6 or 7 load. It is used to dispatch a wounded bird on the water. The rich pattern of a swatter load means you are more likely to strike the vital organs of a downed bird. All hunters using swatter loads should ensure ricocheting pellets do not strike people, dogs or equipment. Hunting is a very different skill to shooting. Duck hunting is a tradition that commands respect for the hunt, for the birds, the environment, the laws and other people. What you've learnt about your effective shooting skills distance, using the right choke and shot shell combination for your hunting situation and basic field hunting techniques will make you a better hunter and reduce any chance of wounding. Remember the three areas of practice that will most help you be a better hunter. Understand your limitations. Practice regularly. Know your effective shooting skills distance. Learn to accurately estimate this distance in the field. Understand your shotgun and ammunition. Pattern test your shotgun. Choose the right combination of choke and shot shell for the ducks you are hunting. Good hunting techniques. Never shoot at flocks, lead birds and going away birds that are beyond 35 metres. Never hunt over heavy cover where you can't retrieve a bird. Retrieve down birds quickly. Use a well-trained gun dog. Use swatter loads to dispatch down birds. Never shoot beyond your effective shooting skills distance. As you spend time with other skilled hunters, you will learn a range of other field techniques. You will learn the value of using camouflage, duck callers, hides and decoys. The skills you learn will add to your enjoyment of duck hunting. Game laws are designed to ensure hunting remains safe, sustainable and humane. If you have any questions about hunting, you should contact your state game agency. At all times, hunt responsibly and show respect for wildlife, the environment, other people and your fellow hunters. All this will put you on the path to becoming a better hunter. Thank you.